Well, I think I think there's two uh, reasons. One is uh, what I talked about before, which is indecision. We know in our analysis was on in moderate or high levels on 87 percent of the sales opportunities we studied. We studied two and a half million sales calls. That's um, it. Hundreds. Yeah, that, right. <laughs> big data set. 87 percent of those calls were with customers displaying either moderate or high levels of indecision. So it's everywhere, but it typically goes undetected by the salesperson. So you need to be aware of it because if you don't you're going to end up losing that deal potentially to no decision. And we found that 40 to 60% of all deals get lost to no decision. And so we want to avoid that as salespeople. So if there's this, this deadly carbon monoxide out there that is you know, poison to our sales efforts, we got to learn how to detect it. So I think that's the first reason. I think the second reason is that you know, salespeople are very reluctant to stop spending time on an opportunity. Unless that customer has said no, they feel like hope springs eternal. They they feel that way because their livelihoods depend on it, right? If I if I stop spending time in this opportunity, that might be a deal I don't close and I don't hit my number, I don't get paid my bonus, I don't go to Cancun, all these things. But also, um, it's because of who they are, right? They they love you know fighting the good fight. They love being the underdog. They love taking that deal that seemed like it was like on de- at death's door and, and resuscitating it and closing it. They just love that moment. And for the average performer, if they haven't been told no, then their view is like, well, the customer might say yes. But there's this old adage in sales, which is, again, high performers don't chase garbage trucks. They know that time is their scarcest resource. And so they ruthlessly qualify and disqualify opportunities. And what we found in the research is they qualify and disqualify not just on the customer's ability to buy. So things like, do they have budget? Is it a good fit for our product and service? Do we have other reference customers in their industry, success stories we can point to, case studies, et cetera? So not just on their ability to buy, but also on their ability to decide. So they're doing much deeper levels of qualification and disqualification um, than we ever realized before. Um, and the average salesperson is not doing this stuff. And again, it's it's a real head fake when you get a customer who is seems like they're making progress, right? We went from the demo we did the team build, you know, we built consensus across the buying committee. We're now in with legal. We're talking to procurement. You know, we're doing, we're in InfoSec. We're moving the the uh, the deal down the pipeline, but, or down the funnel, but that customer is still struggling with sources of indecision, which you're going to realize in the 11th hour lead to no decision. And then they start ghosting you. And, and that is a sign that there was indecision lurking that you could have detected and done something about earlier on. 